reigning world champion, top of your screen, Mohammed Light, and of course Pandora, a Pandora. great world finalist in and of his own, Let's and uh, you know a repeat customer at world finals. A repeat customer indeed, looking to do it one more time, and of course both these guys with some really top teams here in Clash Royale 2023, Shot Kalalis for Mohammed Light and Rising Sun Esports for Pandora. A nice little easy King Tower activation here to open things up. And we saw this yesterday, Mo playing Hog EQ. Uh, he can do it with Giant Skeleton. He can do it with Mighty Miner. It does not matter. He can do it with Valkyrie. It's uh, always a treat to watch him play. We'll see if Pandora has a way around it. And what a good uh, activation from the Mighty Miner, the bomb, knocking the Golden Knight off of his path and over towards that mortar. So really fun stuff here from Muhammad Light early going Hog Mortar, which he's been more running just straight Hog Cycle as of late. Yeah, Hog Mortar has been pretty popular. There's been even Royal Hogs Mortar with uh, basically actually the same makeup that you're seeing so far, but instead it's Royal Hogs instead of Hog Rider. It's going to be nice okay. to have the no, faster no, cycle, no, and of yeah, course, Mo just seems to favor Hog. Um, but the biggest thing about it is the delivery. It feels like delivery is showing up a lot really more, really and really it makes sense. You know, with Lava Hound coming back in, Bloon coming back in, dealing with decks like this, being able to drop a delivery at the bridge and eat up a couple of the charges if you have, you know, I'd say one of the, yeah, a couple of the charges if you're talking about that Golden Knight as well. Uh, happy to see delivery back. And Pandora runs a few different drill variations and since we have yet to see skeletons imagining he might be going with a giant skeleton version here we'll see if that's the case up, yes and i like here and you know you we always got to give credit where credit's due to jebas and he, he knows that we we are all big fans of him but you know mo hasn't ran this version in april right he's run the other version he's run the giant skeleton aq version but he hasn't run this one specifically at crl which is just really nice to see that he's he's always keeping his game fresh and that's kind of the the key one. I mean, that's that's not call anything the key. That's one of the many pieces of the puzzle people have to solve here against Mohammed Light. Is not only does he have all those other tools in his belt, it's the continued deck and variation within certain decks. And so far, working out very well for him as he goes with a nice hog guards behind to deal with the defense that's been happening so far, but well picked up by Pandora. It's just great because he sees the Dark Princes in the back. He goes hog guards at the bridge. He knows that he's going to have to get an overspend from his opponent or he's going to have to play that drill defensively, which Pandora obviously does not want to do. So Mo gets a good bit of damage in there. The other thing that I really like that Mo's doing already, and this is something that a lot of mortar players need to do when they're going up against this type of matchup is, yo, there's no big spell. Let's play that mortar defensively. The mortar is one of the best defensive buildings that there is. The only way that he can cause trouble with that is getting his magic archer across the middle, but you have great ways to take care of the magic archer, and then you don't have to worry about the magic archer. So I love what Mohammed Light's doing. 90 seconds left and having to spend a whole lot, as you just talked about, on these defenses. Bar Barrel plus the Golden Knight to work on this Musketeer. Drill going into the same lane here. Golden Knight gets picked up by the Mortar High Guards to control against this Drill. And another Hog Rider coming down the lane does get NATO'd back, but Muhammad Light just firmly in control with only a minute remaining. It's just all about Pandora getting some massive connection. And Mo, look at that, just a quick Quick draw there to get that EQ in to make sure that this cannon cart is very easily dealt with. Love to see that as well. And that's just perfect decision making, but the chip by the log on top of everything. So you see this little light there for a moment for Pandora. Hey, I have a fairly healthy cannon cart ready to go the opposite direction. And understanding interaction knowledge pays off very well for the man who gets paid very well with all of his Clash Royale wins. <laughs> and again, you know, Pandora's got 30 seconds remaining. Muhammad Light has defense completely locked down time and time again. He's not getting a hog hit there, but he's still creating enough pressure to see nine Elixir come out in the lane that Pandora is not focusing on. You don't want to go in the same lane because that delivery is just getting so much value. I was about to say the same thing. That delivery is just shutting down every hope that Pandora has of creating a significant counter push and then the use of these guards to clean up these drills. It's just been a bad situation from top to bottom for Pandora. And now Mohammed Light doing what he does and going into game two with an advantage. And it's funny because I, 
I, I watch Juicy streams. I'm looking at Pandora right now, and they have a very similar look on their face when you lose to Mohammed Light, which is, what am I supposed to do? How do I beat him? He's like Juicy, I remember one time, was just yelling, he's so good, he's so good, <laughs> like whole time he was playing. And I actually think Juicy ended up winning one of those games because Mo made a mistake late. But it's it's very similar. You look at the look on Pandora's face, there's no frustration, it's just respect. And it's also disbelief of like, I, I couldn't even touch him. I'm one of the best in the world and I couldn't even touch Muhammad Life. And maybe Ram Rider here for Mo in game number two interesting he has gone with royal giant pretty consistently throughout these competitions i'm usually played it in game well, one or game two so a little Ram variance Rider. in deck order out of mohammed light going with this ram rage deck and nice Wait, nice okay? low musketeer there you see mo looking for something with that magic archer but the musketeer just low enough but this Mighty Miner, the placement with the Monk, actually, that push might help for a little bit. And there you go. Ice Spirit has to come down. Yeah. Still gets two. Eh, only gets the one shot. Lead for Pandora early on. 24-16 left-hand lane. And we'll add a bit more chip to this side. Mo sets up on the weak hand side. And Let's trying to go Hoggy Q no, against one of the best in the world right. with Hoggy Q. Going to be interesting with all the firepower that Muhammad Light has and, of course, the Ram Rider. <gasps> Pandora's had success with this deck this weekend, taking down Pedro with it in game two of their matchup. <laughs> that, of course, a very different situation. Quite a bit of value. Well, I'm not having a lot in the tank to deal with this. Well, this is what we kind of saw earlier between Hog EQ and this deck, right? Is that one of the, the hard parts about defending against it is you don't have a building, you don't have the NATO control, so you have to use Ram Rider plus damage to take care of those hogs, and that's simply not easy to do. Not easy to do consistently, yeah, at least. And here we go. We're going to probably see Ice Spirit, a late log. We did log? No, we'll log. See, he doesn't need the log. Guards come, or excuse me, goblins come down instead. I was going to say, I'm happy to see how much guards have been starting to be played again. Again, with Arrow being a little bit less popular, guards are coming back. And there you go. See another hog hit get in. And that's the problem here for Mo, is he's going to give up a hog hit pretty consistently. Mighty Miner fails to pick up the Lumberjack. I think the biggest thing for Mo here is just not losing that tower before he gets into double elixir and then going same lane. We'll see what he can Let's do. The, hot, the EQ no, cycle coming in already. It just no feels like Pandora right recognizes now. how great of a lead he has. And still, oh, I wow. mean, still that hog got hit. Good. A great Mighty Miner ability to open up that opportunity with the knockback of the bomb. So at this point, you got to be thinking okay, that Mo and Jebbas are sitting back and thinking a little bit more about Game number three, of course, you don't want to count anything yet until the towers are actually down, but looking dire here in game two. Okay. Yeah, I'm very curious to see down. what Mo and Jebbas are going to go to in game number three. We did see him play a little bit more okay. Lava Hound yeah, earlier, which was a little interesting, and I know the Lava's been showing up a bit more. We haven't had a lot of game threes, and we haven't had any game threes with Muhammad Light, so I'm just excited to see what the two of them have planned, as he's still trying to make a case for himself, but only 160 remaining. Just need to get that EQ login, and we're going to game number three. And there you go. GG, well played. Game three on its way. Good job, Pandora. And looking at these decks here, Hog plus the Ram Rage. NATO out on the side of Pandora, possibly seeing some sort of minor play out of Mohammed Light. He has played RG in almost every set, though. We'll see if Pandora tries to snipe that. I want to see him go to the skies. There's a lot of air taken off the board here for Pandora. He's got no Magic Archer, no Musketeer, no E-Wiz, no NATO. Could be fun, but instead it looks like we're no going to see... No Musketeer, no NATO. Oh, Pandora oh, has so played a lot of Lava in this competition. So let's see, oh, Pandora played Lava go. against Surgical Goblin go twice during the group stage. Certainly comfortable yes. with it. Yeah. Not going to be Lava. Though. Not going to be Lava, unfortunately. I don't know why I want to see Lava. I mean, I guess that just goes to show how long it's been since it's been popular. Keep Zion scared and, and Zappy for the fan. And a nice little slow start Zion. here. Compared to how frenetic yeah. the, uh, the gameplay has been so far. Yeah. Mm. Okay. yeah, and Mo playing this deck for some reason, oh, it just kind of... 
kind of red or light, or scares right. me for Pandora. Oh, I feel like him slow right. playing this. You should be able to control Let's the board it. pretty well Good. for a while. Well, he certainly is good with just about everything. Okay, so the uh, mirror giant skeleton. Pandora decides to show his cards. Well, and maybe he was feeling like the mirror pigs play. You know, he saw how mirrored pigs nearly won it for clown against Muhammad the other day. Maybe set thought, hey, I can do the same thing with a better result. Yeah, and Mo there, not too happy about pulling the trigger on his Golden Knight ability. You could tell he was kind of late playing it to see if the gold, the giant skeletons were close enough and didn't get anything out of the dash. Not too happy Actually, about that. Still, still has enough still, to defend, but is down one it, bomber on the board. Like the well, oh, sorry. Uh, you, still, and uh, Bomber is really, really great at you, forcing annoying but, negative elixir trades. You consistently have to deal with it, but there's you very few ways to deal with it that don't get, cost you at least one extra. Yeah, I mean, ideally for Pandora, it's just having that Royal Ghost, but, you know, Mo recognized the Royal mm. Ghost is out of cycle. Ooh, it was we, just we. recently played. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously the Bomber sure. was also played defensively, but just a nice little Why? moment there for the Prince of Egypt. As you can see, Pandora starting to build a little bit of pressure in the opposite lane. One of my favorite plays with the Royal Ghost. And here you're talking about Ghost going right to that bomber, taking care of business. E Giant gonna get eaten up here okay, in the middle. Machine. And if you're a clown Don't watching at home machine. right now, you're really hoping that Muhammad Light pulls this one out. You do not want to be exactly. in the in the problem of facing Muhammad Light in an elimination match. Yeah, I mean, you're then you're basically you find yourself in having to play what Spam feels like two machine. golden ticket finals. Spam off flying machine, please. So here we go, sudden death on its way. At the moment, Pandora with a lot on the board and an overall lead, but the question is how long will that be maintained? Bar Barrel goes to help that Electro Giant, gets the Fisherman off the board, and E Giant will get a little reflection damage on that tower. And I really like how Pandora's just taking his time here, not getting too aggressive. We haven't seen any mirrored pigs come out. Obviously, Mo knows that that's a problem or knows that can be a problem. Flying Machine sneaks in just oh in God, time to take that cannon off the board. And I was going to say, now we got to see those Royal Hogs come out. But Mo knows it already back to another cannon. But this is where that mirrored cannon conversation, excuse me, mirrored hogs conversation comes in. Yeah, the bomb tower helping out a lot there, and we'll see not pulling the trigger. And, you know, we're seeing Pandora play this very slowly, not try to get too aggressive too early, get down on an elixir in the moment where Mo has an opportunity to really take advantage, capitalize, and counter push. And Mo's doing a really good job of kind of being in control of his three card cycle. You see, Cannon comes out early when he doesn't have a Golden Knight on the board, so he can second cycle a Cannon if necessary. And then the other times we see the Golden Knight staying on the board with the three card cycle, it just makes it very easy for Mo to get back around. So, just again, like, Mohamed Light recognizing the macro of the matchup. Yes, he is down right now, but the thing that he needs to have is always have enough defense to deal with the Royal Hawks. And there you go, second cannon down. Does have Bomber if he needs this for boy. another set, but with the pressure, he can't get, Pandora cannot get another set of Royal Hawks out. And Lightning from Mo on offense trying to take care of something, but can't do it. And now this Fly Machine buried on defense could be a problem as Again, Mohammed Light can't get There's to it the NATO. way he's wanted to. NATO pulls it all together. Will reflection damage be Hawks? sufficient? Does not take the lead here. Lightning cycle. And that's it. <laughs> Pandora. Pandora's going to do it. Mo can't get another lightning down. There's the hogs coming in. NATO's in. Lightning. Where's the lightning? No oh. lightning. And Mohammed oh. Light, Pandora does it. Oh, I, forgot we were, oh, I was going to actually pick Pandora because I forgot we did our predictions, but then they, they showed up on the screen. I was like, oh, yeah, we already we already all picked Mo. But man, Pandora does it. Takes down the world champ. You love to see it. And I mean, look at the celebration from him.